and welcome to layout configuration video. In this video we are going to take a look at block arguments and removing replacing blocks. First let's take a look on the page that we created earlier. This is mastering page. You will see all items created during this course in this list. And for this video we are going to change to customize this page. First I would like to show you how to remove an element from a page. And for this page I think we'll remove this subscription block. Basically in Magento 2 you can replace blocks by removing the original block and adding another block instead. The second scene we will use block arguments to pass argument to this block displaying items. Let's take a look on it in code. The layout responsible for page that we'll just looked at is located under View, Frontend, Layout and Mastering Index Index. You can see that this is a default page and we just added Mastering Hello block to the content container. Let's provide a label argument to the mastering hello block. So I'm going to open this node, use arguments node and argument name label. And let's put some content like the label here. Also, we have to specify the, the type of argument. XSI type. In this case, it's a, th a string. One additional change to this layout is removing subscription field. And for this purpose, we'll use reference block node. We'll specify the name of the block that is adding subscription field and the name is form subscribe. This information can be observed in a newsletter module and we'll say remove true. Now this block, block will be removed. Finally, let's use the label argument inside the template of mastering hello block. First, let's take a look on block itself. So all arguments specified in layout XML are added to the data. And finally, this data is accessible using magic methods on a block. So if we'll go to template, which is under view, frontend, templates, hello PHTML, we can use PHP, echo, block, get label. To render the attribute named label passed from layout. Now let's view changes on frontend. But first, as usual, we have to clean cache. Bean magenta cache. 
flash. Now refresh a page. As you can see, subscription block was removed. And any custom block can be added to this place. Also, the argument pass to block is present on the page. Layout arguments are very handy to customize blocks on different layouts. For example, if we will use this block on some other page, we can specify different label in layout for that page. In the next video, we'll take a look how to customize JavaScript.